Monday, April 6th, 2020. Welcome back from the weekend. Hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, and we're able to find some peace and respite during this um, really uh, wild time. And really, from the bottom of our ho heart, we hope um, that you're managing through this as well as possible. And we understand also that there are families and students who are impacted pretty significantly. Uh, we are here to support you in whatever way we can. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us in whatever manner is appropriate. Uh, we are available email. If you want to call the school, leave some messages. We'll get back to you. We promise. All right. So we're into the second week of our online uh, or our distance learning plan here. I was really impressed with students and, fam uh, students and teachers last week collaborating in a very new way and overall pretty positive experience. So thank you. We're looking forward to getting better and better each day. Uh, with our work in this regard, but really, I, I'm really moved by the commitment and the dedication that we've seen from both students and families. Uh, those of you just joining the chat, I see a couple of teachers jumping in now. Hello, uh, we'll get to you in a minute. Um, all right, and then a huge shout out to uh, some of our cheerleading team. I put out a link on the classroom. We had uh, three of our cheerleaders make the All Long Island team and our coach won coach of the year. So big shout out to the cheerleading team. All right, now let's just jump into it. So we have our business and tech departments here today. Uh, we're gonna jump in and ask that those folks say hello. Uh, Chris Dowd, if you're there and ready to go, you're up first, you wanna say hello to everybody. All right, we'll come back to, Dor we'll go Doreen then, Ms. Uh, Mrs. Gordon. Hi, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, uh, I'm impressed with all the work that everybody's been doing so far. And I'm glad that uh, most people are, are okay and will continue to be that way during this time. Awesome. Chris, I see you're back at it. You want to jump on and say hi? Yeah, sorry about that. I was saying good morning, Hot Pog. I miss all you guys. I wish I was back in school making stuff with you guys. But uh, we're doing some great work now. So you know, it's good to Very see good. everyone. Cool, thank you. Frank, Mr. Huffnagel. Good morning, everybody. I miss all my, all my students, and I miss uh, seeing all my colleagues, and I hope everybody's well. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Uh, keep uh, getting in touch with me through Google Classroom and email if you have any questions. Awesome, thank you. Uh, Mr. Salvaggio. Good morning, everybody. I wish everybody to be safe and healthy. Uh, miss everyone's kids staff and look forward to getting back again like mr Hoffnagel said please get in touch with me if you have any questions thank you jay doves good morning everyone happy monday hope you all um had a good weekend um i just hope everyone has a good week so uh, just please take care of yourselves let us know if you need anything cool. uh mrs paglieri good morning everyone happy monday i uh, hope you're all healthy and safe it was a beautiful weekend. I hope you got outside and got a little fresh air. I also hope you're following your school night bedtime routines and uh, are up and ready and working right now. Have a good one. Yes, I'm, I'm hearing more and more that, that the school night bedtime routine is not being met. Liam McManus. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I hope everyone is well, safe, and happy and healthy. Uh, I miss all my students and all my coworkers um, and all the staff of Hot Bog. Uh, community. Um, and uh, if anyone, again, as Mr. Uh, Huffnagel said, if anyone needs to reach out, Google Classroom or email, you know, however you can. Uh, so if you need to get in touch, uh, please do. And if not, I miss everyone. Mr. McManus, that's a pretty stellar beard, I got to admit. Uh, Ms. Deller. Good morning, everybody. Nice to see everybody. I miss everybody. Uh, Ms. Cattell. Sorry about that. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. And I hope everybody takes some time to enjoy the weather today. Yeah, it's supposed to be a beautiful day. Uh, Mr. Valerio, Terry Valerio. Good morning, Hop Hog. Sorry, my problems. Hope everyone's doing well. Missed you terribly. Today should be a gorgeous day, so maybe you can get a little fresh air. Just keep your distance. Thank you. And Mr. Bucci. Yeah, hello. Uh, good morning, everybody. I miss everybody. 
Um, hope everyone's healthy. Um, and I look forward to getting back. Awesome. All right. So a couple quick announcements um, and then we'll get into the questions of the day. So uh, this weekend, we missed a couple important days. We're trying to keep track of what are the national days in April. Uh, over the weekend, we missed National School Librarian Day. Ms. Della, I know you do a lot of work in the library. So hello to you. Uh, Ms. Hyam, Ms. Uh, Dr. Haran, um, and Ms. Grant, who is filling in uh, for Ms. Hyam. Uh, thank you so much for your work. We, uh, we started to miss you this weekend. It was also National Love Our Children Day. It feels odd that we would have a specific day for loving our children, but um, we missed it on Saturday. It was also Walk Around Things Day. So maybe you walked around a track, maybe you walked around your couch. I don't know, that seems like an odd day as well, but it was National Walk Around Things Day. It was National Maritime Day. And of course it was Palm Sunday. So um, sorry to have missed those days as well. Hope you enjoyed them and somehow celebrated each of them. Today, and I'm not meaning to rub this in student athletes at all, but today is National Student Athlete Day. And so uh, please, you know, know that we see you and we recognize you. And at times over the next few weeks, I'm sure we'll be reaching out to you directly. We know you, you wish you were on the fields or on the track uh, or in whatever space it is that you would participate in sports usually. We know that you wish you were there. We wish you were there as well. And so, um, you know, we'll, we're thinking about you a lot. All right. So the questions of the day, again, your favorite ice cream flavor. What are things that you are listening to that help you to relax or just zen out, uh, whether that's music or a book or um, or like a podcast or something? And then at the end, we'll ask you to do a high five. So we're going to do three pretty quick rounds here. Uh, sometimes they fall apart a little bit as we go in and people make, in front of, make fun of each other. So if you have like a, a quick little comment to make to somebody's ice cream selection, that's fine. Uh, let's go. Let's start it out, though. Favorite ice cream flavor. Uh, Mr. Dowd, I believe you are leading us off. Go for it. Our favorite ice cream flavor used to be chocolate. I switched uh, to vanilla as an adult. And to relax, I just like to go for a run or a bike ride or something like that, get outside. Awesome. All right, cool. Uh, Mrs. Gordon, what about you? My favorite ice cream is chocolate, double chocolate, ch chocolate with chocolate chips, chocolate with, chocolate <laughs> with chocolate sprinkles, anything chocolate. But that's my favorite. Haven't awesome. still switched as an adult. Awesome. Um, and what are you listening to? Anything that's helping you out so, right now? Um, I'm a huge country music fan, always have been. Really? So I've been really um, getting into the Amazon Country Station. It's awesome. And found a lot of new artists. And I'm really uh, enjoying that. And I awesome. crank it pretty loud with two Luxes. So I'm really happy about that. That's awesome. Just, just walk around the house, jamming a country. Love it. Mm -hmm. And chocolate. Cho a lot of chocolate. Cool. Uh, Mr. Huffnagel, what about you? What's your favorite ice cream? If we're just going to go for a bowl of ice cream, I got to go with the Rocky Road. But you know if what? we're going to go with the Sunday, yes. then it'll be just plain chocolate and with all the toppings. Like what? What would you Which throw on there? Fudge. Definitely the hot fudge. I, I'd go with Mrs. Gordon's selection, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. <laughs> uh, and uh, as far as I just discovered Amazon Prime Music this weekend. I, I always used to listen to Pandora. But uh, and I'll listen to anything really during the Amazon music. It's great that I can just now plug in a song. Pandora, you're kind of at the mercy of whatever comes your way. But uh, yeah, so good discovery this weekend. Cool. Very cool. Uh, Mr. Salvaggio, ice cream and, and listening to. Um, ice cream is definitely going to be Midnight Madness and Black Raspberry. All right. Um, What's in Midnight Madness? All chocolate. I'm with Miss Gordon. Just throw on the chocolate, chocolate syrup, chocolate on top of chocolate. You know, it's just it's pure black mud is what it is. But I love it. It's fantastic. That's and then uh, I like to do '80s rock, like metal bands with long hair. The longer hair, the better. And then when we went biking the other day, that's what I was jamming out to. So that kind of chills me out, relaxes me. '80s rock. Give us an example. You want to want to sing little us a song Van Halen, real quick? Little Motley Crue. <laughs> Poison, you know it. You've heard it. <laughs> I have, I have, I have. It gets Many me motivated. Times. It gets you going. Wow! Yeah. All right, cool. Exactly. <laughs> uh, all, all right, uh, J Dubs. Yeah, please don't ever scream like that again. That was terrifying. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, the correct answer for the ice cream is chocolate chip cookie dough. Um, and as far as zenning out, um, I haven't really listened to much music lately. Um, if I were to, it would be like 90s alternative stuff. 
but you usually just go outside and just kind of enjoy the outdoors. Um, but yeah, nice. if I had to go with music, 90s alternative. Nice. Excellent. Mr. Sparara, what do you got for ice cream? What's up, James? So my favorite ice cream is uh, chocolate peanut butter with uh, peanut butter on top. And uh, so if I'm, if I'm going to listen to uh, something that makes me feel good and brings me back to uh, my high school days, I'm definitely listening to classic rock and roll, um, late 70s, early 80s, like Boston, Kansas, the Eagles. That's, that's how I uh, enjoy. Got it. I don't know. A couple of years ago, it was true that the Eagles best it was like the best selling album of all time, their greatest hits, which is was always interesting to me. Uh, excellent. All right. And I'm with you on the chocolate and the peanut butter. Mrs. Paglieri, what do you got? Well, I'm a little disappointed you don't know what my favorite ice cream is. Cheddar ice cream? It's cheddar, of course. <laughs> so if uh, on the rare days that I go in and really crave an ice cream, we're going straight for a black raspberry with yep. no exception. Um, but Typically, it's, it's cheddar. Um, what am I listening to? So this is, you know, a particularly hard time, you know, for a lot of people. And I should be at soccer games and dance recitals and wrestling matches and all this stuff. So it was hard to adjust. But really, what I listened to this weekend that was really settling and I finally found, like, my peace uh, was my children play together. You know, my kids range from 3 to 17. But they were outside playing ball and teaching Nicholas how to uh, – play lacrosse and just listening to them. It was, it just finally gave me the calm that I really needed after all this. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah. That, that kind of moment country, resonates with me. And I'm definitely a country music girl. No way. I didn't know you or Mrs. Gordon were country, <laughs> country girls. That's so funny. All right. Uh, who am I? I'm, I'm not ready here. I'm missing. I clicked on the wrong button. Uh, Liam. Hello. Um, so my favorite ice cream is, cake batter flavor um but if we're talking about me like a sundae i like like a reese's peanut butter cup sundae if that's like an option on the table there it is um, that is and it's the reese's right is my favorite <laughs> it is a fantastic option and as for listening to things uh i've been listening to audiobooks on audible uh which you can get through uh amazon prime uh my comfort book series that i can kind of get to any time just like as background noise is the harry potter mm -hmm. series uh but lately i've been listening to a book uh, recommended to me by Mr. Monson uh, from Hop Hog High School um, by Claudia Gray, which is uh, called Master and Apprentice, which is a Star Wars book, which I've really been enjoying. Uh, so, you know, if no one knew, Mr. Monson and I are both a uh, huge comic book and like sci-fi nerds. So uh, if you ever want to talk about that during these troubling times, please reach out. But uh, yeah, Audible and Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Mrs. Deller. Ms. Deller. My favorite ice cream is Bing Cherry Vanilla on a sugar cone. <laughs> Love Very it. specific. Very specific. Very specific. And I have a hard time relaxing. So <laughs> my thing is to go in the yard. I never sit still. So I go in the yard and do gardening, and I put on some classic rock. I'm with the Eagles. I'm with the classic rock. Love it. Mixed in with a little bit of everything else. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Love it. Maria Cattell. Um, my favorite ice cream would be pistachio uh, with maraschino cherries. Excellent. Um, and what are you listening to? Actually, yesterday was a very peaceful day. I haven't been doing, I guess, a lot of Easter preparations because a lot of my family's not going to be here. So I finally said, you know what? This is ridiculous. We could just eat leftovers for the whole week. Nice. So I went, I, I got grain pie. I went to Uncle Giuseppe's early in the morning. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I started making strombolis. And yes. I was listening to Andrea Bocelli. Wow. And it that's, was awesome. That sounds uh, peaceful and just very relaxing. Awesome stuff. And I'm jealous that you're going to have some strombolis. I, I wish we could uh, share them around right now. Uh, Terry Valerio, go for it. OK. Um, I'm not really an ice cream person, but if I was going to eat ice cream, I do like cherry vanilla like Lisa. Um, and I love Jethro Tull. He's one of my favorites, Cat Stevens. It goes all over the place, but I was listening to some uh, Celtic women just to get a little bit zen and uh, pretty much everything. 
Very cool. All right, Mr. Bucci. Okay, I'm here. Um, I'm on a fairly strict diet uh, to battle rheumatoid arthritis, but if okay. I go if I go to friendlies with my family, I get a bowl. Uh, I get a happy ending Sunday coffee with whipped cream, just nice. so that I have something. Uh, music. I like to groove on some Jimmy Reed. I uh, been doing the Norda track with um, Stevie Ray Vaughan and some hot tuna if I want to mellow out a little bit. Um, I've resurrected the uh, We Fit, and I've been doing We Fit yoga with my daughter. So that's kind of um, relaxing. And I've been uh, in a bunch of different projects that kind of get me through the day. Um, made it a nice maker station for my son. He's home from college now, so he had to get his um, drawing board and things together. So um, been very busier than ever. Nice. Good. Uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, deep memories of listening to him jam out. So, oh, on the uh, water track, Stevie Ray, yeah. Yeah, that sounds that sounds great. I actually wrote it down. I'm gonna I have an exercise bike downstairs. I think I might try to hit a Stevie Ray <laughs> playlist and go at it. Um, cool. I, I'm on the chocolate side of things and the chocolate peanut butter specific side of things. So any any Sunday with chocolate and peanut butter and maybe something crunchy in there as well. That's my go to. Um, a couple of things that I'd encourage people to uh, listen to. I'm right now um, listening to the Audible book, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, which I find really good. And I found an artist last night, actually, this guy, Benjamin Clementine. If you don't know who that is, write it down. I was blown away by this guy, Benjamin Cle Clementine, a pianist and a singer. Uh, really phenomenal. Makes me think of uh, Luca Ilanardi on the keys um, and a uh, really interesting guy. All right, and so the final round here is we're gonna give everybody a chance to just jump in and give a high five to somebody that they would like to give a high five to if they could. So uh, my big high five over the weekend, you know, we, 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 we've we been ordering food, trying to sustain local businesses, but been, been thinking it's pretty cool that you can make a donation to local uh, businesses and that they are then taking that donation and then providing food to the frontline medical workers. So there's there's people on the front line and then there's people on the second or the third line that are doing interesting uh, things. So really thought that was an interesting idea, particularly uh, a pizzeria right by us. We've made a donation and then they provided three pies. So it, it, it's nice to be able to support a local business and they're doing really good work uh, simultaneously to that. So let, let's jump in. Uh, Mr. Dowd, if you could give a high five to somebody, who would you give a high five to? All right, two. First, I have to give it to my wife because she's really making everything work around here <laughs> and uh the second thing west hampton beach brewery they deliver and they did so that's my excellent. second excellent and a shout out too that's good <laughs> uh mrs gordon uh i'd have to give high fives to um all of the teachers in my departments who have been working so hard who have put up with a lot of different changes and are really reaching out and doing some awesome work. So I'm really proud of all the work that they do. Awesome. Thank you so much. Agreed. Uh, Mr. Updangle. All right. My high five goes out to my wife, who is a nurse and working tremendous hours at the hospital, trying to keep everybody safe, uh, working on patients. Uh, she's downstairs in the basement. Uh, kind of self-quarantining and keeping us safe. No symptoms, thank God, but uh, just precautionary. So my high five goes out to her uh, and uh, and everybody else, every other healthcare worker out there. High five, high five, high five. Yes. Uh, Mr. Salvaggio, who do you got? I'd like to give a high five out to my wife for taking care of the kids and doing all that stuff because she definitely did earned it. I also want to give a high five out to Chris Dowd for throwing out a plug. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. The guy rocks. He goes from vanilla ice cream to throwing out a plug. I mean, it gets like high and low. You can't, uh, you can't yeah. beat it, you know? Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> J-Dubs. All right. So my uh, high five today goes out to um, kind of like what Mr. Huffnagel said, all essential workers right now. Um, I talked to a couple parents this morning who were on their way to work. Um, we just have to be gracious that you know there there are people out there that are still making things work while we're all going through this so high five to everyone that's going out there um and just know we're with you we're thinking about you cool this is bra 
I want to give a high five out to actually our high school staff. Um, I want to thank all of our teachers, high five you all for, for really uh, digging in and, and doing some out of the box things. Uh, this is all new for all of us. And, and you had a, re a really terrific week. Uh, we got some great feedback. So um, I want to high five all of our high school teachers and I want to high five our high school TAs who have uh, stepped up and volunteered to do some new things. And I want to give a big shout out to our cafeteria staff who are in the kitchen making food for, for families in our community. So high five Hop Hop High School. Thank you. Mrs. Pagliari. I'm, I'm going to go to also, I want to give a high five to all of our teachers. I can't imagine um, how difficult it must be to try to organize this. And some of them are learning, you know, things that are so outside of their um, comfort zone, but everyone is stepping up like I've never seen before and, and can never imagine. Um, I also want to give a shout out to our high school seniors. Um, I know this is a particularly hard time for them. And I just encourage you to all, you know, take as much time as you can go on virtual field trips and call your schools and, and hopefully, you know, you'll get the information that you need to make the best choice for you. Good. Mr. McManus. I want to uh, give a high five out to my dad. Uh, he's been uh, helping keep things together while we're all at home and keeping our bellies full by getting really into baking uh, this past couple of weeks. He's been uh, baking sourdough bread, uh, homemade English muffins and pretzels. So uh, it's been interesting to see what he comes up with each day and just, you know, helping the family get through everything. So there's my high five. Very cool. Uh, Lisa. Uh, I give a shout out to the man who came and played the bagpipes. We had a funeral across the street this weekend and my neighbor died and they had a drive by funeral and it was so beautiful and somebody came and stood under umbrella and played the bagpipes because it was raining and each car, each car was even distanced and they stopped, said their little prayer and went on. And it was just so beautiful. It was so nice that somebody came and actually volunteered to play the bagpipes through the whole thing. And it was just really, really beautiful. That is, uh, that is moving, very moving. Maria. Uh, I would give a high five just to everybody who's working together and being kind and respectful to everybody. Great. Terry. I'd like to give a high five out to all the tech people. Uh, they really, really did a great job bringing us up to speed. And also for my husband, because every day was Sunday for him and now I'm home. And that's a little rough for him, but uh, we're making it work. High five. Good. And Mr. Bucci. Yeah, I'd like to give a high five to all the healthcare workers, especially my uh, sister-in-law, Noel. She works at Sloan Kettering. And also my niece, Lucy, who uh, works in a group home in uh, Maryhaven and actually has coronavirus. And she's at home now fighting it. So I'd like to give a high five to those two, and especially all the healthcare workers. Got it. That, that's beautiful. Uh, thank you. Um, Really, really moving around, guys. Thank you so much. A couple, a couple of notes. This weekend, I, I we were having a hard time figuring out how to get our, our Peapod order or Amazon deliveries or whatever. They're pushed back, and uh, started calling some local places. So, so uh, bagel places, bakeries, butchers, etc. Um, they seem to be out operating at high speeds right now, doing doing a curbside drop off or curbside uh, pickup rather. So if you're listening and, and you're looking for places, try your local local places as well. I know that uh, uh, a lot of hurting business out there, but people are still working pretty hard right now. So so figure out ways to support them and just give them a call and see what you can get. Um, last thing, and, and this didn't come up. Nobody mentioned this, but it's a question that has been on uh, on the minds of, um, of these meetings. Is it caramel or caramel, everybody? So turn off your mics for a second. We'll end with just a disastrous uh, approach here. Is it caramel or caramel? What do you think? Just yell it out. Caramel. 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 Okay. And who caramel. Has, caramel. No caramel on the ice creams? What's the deal with that? Who has caramel on their ice cream? Caramel. I do caramel on my ice cream. Caramel. Definitely. Caramel. All right. Butterscotch. Then, uh, I do too, caramel. Caramel butterscotch. Who yelled butterscotch? The uh, <laughs> you got the gray hair done. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and then the uh, the other question we have: ketchup on eggs or no? No ketchup on eggs. So yes for ketchup on eggs. No for no ketchup on eggs. No, sure. yeah, no. no ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Whatever floats your boat. All right, and it would. 
No and it wouldn't be a Long Island morning if I didn't ask, what's your favorite bagel flavor? Yell it out. Favorite everything. Bagel. Egg everything. Egg everything. Egg everything. Egg everything. Wow. Egg everything. Wow. Egg everything. everything. Uh, all your local bagel place, everybody. They're open. They're they're hurting, and I'm sure they got everything bagels there for sure. Uh, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay. I know for anybody that lives in Kings Park area, I know there was a dairy barn over there. Is it still there? Yeah, yes. it's still a dairy barn. Yeah. And it's open. Yes. Thank you. Awesome, everybody hit up that dairy barn too while you're at it. Maybe, uh, maybe you buy some ice cream and some caramel while you're there and you load up, all right? I don't know if they do bagels. Everybody, good stuff. The stream is stopping, the recording's stopping. Great to see everybody, thank you so much. Good morning. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye guys.